Today we're going to simulate a day-night simulation and it's very basic, it's nothing fancy really but and probably it's not applicable to the games but actually if you want to make something like that I think that you can actually make it in a very easy way. Hello guys, good day to you, welcome to this new video, Andrew from Yellow Hat Games here. This video was born kind of because a guy was asking how to make this in, uh, in YouTube comments and I felt that this is quite easy, why not making something and showing how you can approach this. No, what we're going to do is basically take a slider and move the slider and according to the slider position move the sun. And now let's jump to Godot engine. Okay guys, this is pretty easy and it is a lazy approach, but you know, easy things doesn't mean that they are not good to, to use in games. How can we do that? Well, to make it, I just used a crawl bar, a path to D node, and the spider that is simulating the sky basically. Okay, but we're going to make it totally from scratch, so follow me on this. Now let's jump with the sky, the sky. The sky is just a normal sprite. You can see that that's the kind of uh, node that I'm using here. But instead of putting our own texture, you know, our, our own sprite, I just put it a gradient here. And you can see that you can use gradient texture or gradient texture to D. And the gradient basically, like you can see, you can give this different points of color and it's going to fade the, those color between them in order to, you know, to create this nice and smooth translation of color. A thing that might be happening here is that you need to rotate basically your texture here and I rotated it by 90 degrees because uh, somehow this doesn't come in vertical but it comes in horizontal and that's fine, I mean, it's just a little step. And the next thing that we need is the scroll bar. We need to tweak a little bit the scroll bar, okay? and the scroll bar is going to get values between 0 and 1 and the step is going to be 0 0.01 the, now the step is very important because that allows us to define which is the minimum value that this slider can have basically and we want to have that at 0 0.01 okay and now we're going to make the magic happen we're going to use path to d that is quite powerful. Path to allows us to give a curve here. We can create a curve or at least a line basically. So I'm going to start somewhere here. I'm giving a point here, another point here, and then another point here in the center. If you want to make this in a better way, definitely use the ruler because it's going to help you to, you know, to center everything. Click shift and grab this point and just drag and drop that is going to curve those, it's going to give you the ability to create a, a curve basically. So basically grab and smooth. And last but not least, here it goes. This one is going to be nice, it's going to come from here to go there, it's going to be okay. Now just grab a path follow to D. This allows objects that are uh, child of this node basically to move uh, along this curve, along this line that we created, along this path that we created. Now, how can that happen? Basically, we're going to use the offset. The offset here, the offset property, if we increase that, it's going to move this object that it has like a child. Or even better in this case, we're going to use unit offset. Now, the unit offset can retrieve values from 0 to 1. Basically, the whole path is just 0 to 1. And that's great because we have those values directly on our slider. So we're going just to retrieve the slider value and it's going to work. Now, let's see how can we do that. I'm just going to give the path to D just a uh, the sun child there, bam. And now you can see that if I move the offset, the sun just moves with it, okay? Nice. Now, if we move the unit offset, you can see that the max value is one and the minimum value is zero. Now, let's start and make this movement happen, this sun moving. Just go on the path follow to D and give this a script and create. Okay, now we need just the function delta and to make sure that everything works, we're going to use the unit offset. So basically just type unit offset like this equals to and in this case we're going to retrieve the value of the slider basically. Now the slider is up above our path basically and we need to jump twice uh, up above. So basically get parent to get to the path G and get parent to get to the world basically. So get parent dot get parent 
and dot get node. This way we can get the scroll bar and we're going to get the value like that. And if we run this, it's going to work basically. You'll see that it's working. We have our sun basically that jumps there and goes down. Now, one last thing that I made was actually to make everything dark in the background color. And to make that dark, basically, we're going to work on this, on the sky texture. Now, if you go under modulate, by modulating it on a grayer value, it's going to be dark, basically. Since doing that in this way, in RGB, basically, it's not working quite well because you need to change both three values. Now you can use instead the uh, HSV and you can change basically the value here. Let's do that. Now go under sky, give this a script and here basically always under delta function. Inside here we need to go under modulate equals to color like that dot from HSV. And you can see that we have three values that we need, but the first two values are going to be zero. And now what's going to happen is basically retrieve that value basically from the slider. And to do that is just get parent dot get node. And we're going to retrieve our slider and I'm going to retrieve the value like this. Now, if we see this, it's not going to be nothing what we want because it starts from dark and becomes bright when it's over. But we want that it becomes bright in the middle, in the center, and then becomes over. And here it comes very useful to use the sign object sane. Now, if we do this, it seems to work actually, but it's not there, it's not there, because the values that this is assuming are not good. So basically what you need to do is, I find out that it works quite well for me, it's multiplying for three the value, it's going to be brighter in the center and it's going to be dark down. I tend to use just 0 0.1 here plus 0 0.1 just to make sure that when we start it's not totally black. And that's all basically. Here we have it and here we have it again. Okay guys, hopefully this was nice and was something useful. If you didn't understand something, please let me know down in the comment section. Hopefully this gives you at least an idea how much powerful are some of those nodes. And you just need to approach them in a different and creative way. And you can, you know, achieve whatever you want, basically. Okay, this was all. I'm Ed from Yellowhead Games. Thank you for watching this video. Leave a like and subscribe to the channel, please, because that means a lot to me. And let me know down in the comment section if this was useful or if you have any suggestion or tip or tricks that you can uh, suggest to me. Maybe I can make a new video so we can share this knowledge, we can help the community grow, and we can help beginners as well. And more important, keep devin' games!